Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Nova Atis. Now, when we left off, it was a long time ago, and, well, we had a bunch of things to do. Now, I have wandered around a little bit and tried to pick up as much steel as possible because I took a look in our blacksmith, our recently constructed blacksmith, that is, and I saw that we needed a lot of steel to be able to craft a really really nice weapon. Now, of course, I've taken a look at the various weapons that you can get, and the weapons in general are actually pretty nice, but unfortunately the highest tier ones, you know, the ones that are very, very good, are uh, kind of hidden behind a craftsmanship skill wall. So, as you can see here, we are level 25. I have now 8 in Iron Flesh, thanks to that trait event. That trait event that gives you a bad dueling trait or something along those lines, but in exchange gives you plus two to Iron Flesh. So I decided, hey, you know what? We're just going to go with a huge amount of Iron Flesh, and I don't really care about the trait that much. Doesn't seem to be very useful anyway, but I've also improved our surgery skill and our first aid, make that ability that we are able to use in combat a little bit more effective. And otherwise, that seems to be it. Of course, I've done a little bit of crafting as well. I have some leather here. I have enough to build another piece of armor, but I wasn't sure which one to go for, so I just went for the heraldic knight armor because we are going to be giving some armor to some newly recruited units. You'll see the units very, very soon. I'm not entirely sure how long it's been since I started the recruitment process with them. So we're going to find that out, but otherwise, I have some steel here. We are going to be attempting to craft a very nice weapon indeed. Also, there is a tournament here. I would like to do the tournament afterwards, but first, let's visit the blacksmith. Now, where do I have to go? I have to go over here. And yes, there we go. Okay, so we have intermediates to handle. So, <laughs> intermediates to handle, and we're going to craft a handle? Of course we are. So, the sword in question that I very much want to get is this, I believe. 45 cutting damage, 46 piercing damage. I think that is the best one that I can currently get, apart from this, but obviously I need Craftsmanship 6 to be able to do that, and I'm not going to be able to do that. So, yes, this right here is the best one that I can so far get. That's 45 cutting, pretty nice. And otherwise, everything else is kind of like, mm, not really great. So we're going to go for the 45 cutting one. And I need some intermediates first. So I need a handle, of course. So let's craft the handle. Okay, so I need to go over here. There we go. Take rough iron rod. And then I need to go over here. There we go. Blow on the fire. Very nice. And now, what do I need to do? Heat. Heat the iron rod. Heat it up. Very nice. Go, go, go. There we are. Okay, so where do I need to go? Ah, over there. Okay, so flatten the iron rod. Okay, well, yeah, that's that should that should do the job. Look at that hammer. Oh. Or mallet. There we are. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, very nice. Look at that. It's actually glowing with very, very, well, dangerous things. Yes, very dangerous things. Okay, so we're picking up the smith hammer, and now we're forging... And there we go, we're, we're using our hammer skills. Stop hammer time, am I right? Yes. And we do have, obviously, the grinding tool as well. Can I, can I do that? How do I, how do I do the grinding tool? It is, ah, nope, nope, there we go. A little bit weird, the hitbox on this particular thing, but it's perfectly fine. Polishing it, ah, there we go. So we gained a handle, very nice, so that was... That was the process for creating the handle. Now what we need to do is go for a sword blade. And of course I need to pick up another rod here. Yes. Take the rough iron rod and I suppose I need to do the same things. Yes, I do need to do the same things, which is perfectly fine. So I'm going to make the steel blade. Ah, this is a new step. So we can cool it down now. Obviously we need to put it in water. So that's gonna... Oh, oh! Wow. What? Forging a sword requires sufficient mastery. The blade is heated for tempering and needs to be cooled now. Cooling it incorrectly causes the blade to break and become worthless scrap. With enough care, you can create a beautiful new weapon. Did I... Did I do that right? 
I hope so. I did it in the middle of the sort of what is that gauge thing? Yes. I hope <laughs> I hope that was it. Well, uh, I think I made. It. Yeah, I think I did it. Okay, so that's great. So now we have a sword blade. And that is all we require, isn't it? That is all we require, so all I need to do now is go over here to the 4546 and make it. Oh yes, there we go. Ah, oh, very nice. Okay, so I'm going to be keeping that and we are going to be using that. Thank you very much. So, let's go into our inventory real quick. So where is it? Ah, there it is. 45 cutting damage. It does require strength 14, so do bear that in mind. But, as you can see, it's a little bit slower. But the damage is very, very good. Well, four more damage, and it looks a little bit more ornate as well. And I'm perfectly happy with that. A little bit less thrusting damage, but I'm pretty happy with that as well, because obviously swings are something that I use more often. And we do have some more steel. I didn't actually know how much steel I should go for, so I just picked up as much as I could from the varying towns. There's not that much actually to find. I went around quite a significant amount, but anyway... There you go. So now we have a new weapon, which is fantastic. And on top of this, it also means that we can give our balanced rapier to the new units that I am currently recruiting at Diggs Landing. So, without further ado, I am going to be fighting in the tournament and gaining a little bit of gaining a little bit of cash as I feel like that is very, very much necessary. I don't know whether you saw. Have you seen my inventory yet? I'm not entirely sure about that. But if you haven't, I have about 500 florins. Yeah, I have about 500 florins. There's, there's a primary reason for that. The primary reason is that I bought a noble's great house here. And... <laughs> well, that was... That was hilarious. That was actually hilarious because... That guy was like, oh yeah, I'm not even lancing. I'm just going to poke you in the face with a regular attack. And I was just like, oh, yep, okay. So yeah, I'm just going to allow you to do that apparently. But yes, that's not very good, is it? Okay, so I mean, I'm still unsure how to move the death camera. I really should. Wow, he's doing an amazing job, this guy. He really is doing an amazing job. Okay, so come on, fellow. The last guy should be able to, be, to win this, maybe. Oh, uh, maybe not. Okay, so Captain Bernard from the Saranid Sultanate is doing an amazing job. But at least we gained the swiftest cut, I suppose you could say. So that's going to help us out a little bit with some extra experience and things. But yeah, I am not used to fighting against Saranids, of course. It's been a while since I... Wow, it's actually not happened ever when I've fought Saranids. Oh, yes. So I'm not very much aware of their skills and in general how good they are. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that guy, that Lord Bernard fellow, that must... Uh, Captain Bernard, should I say? That guy must be a defector, because there's no way he is an actual Saranid vassal, is there? I mean, really. Oh, that was Matteld. That was Matteld attempting to kill us there. Well, too bad for her. Too bad for her. Okay, so, yeah, there you go. Fiercest competitor and everything. We're gaining a good amount of renown as well. I would love to be able to get at least 100 in our unit capacity, but obviously that's... It's quite a ways off yet, but I think it's pretty nice to try as much as we can to gain some pretty good renown. And I think after this... Ah, uh, oh, yes, I was hoping for a little bit more damage. Obviously, a little bit more. Yeah, so after this round, I'm going to cut away and we're going to just finish up the tournament off screen, or I am, and then we're going to head on to Diggs Landing and see what's going on there, but... Well, that's the thing. It's it's actually not going too badly. They haven't... Well, by, by they, I mean the Aztecs, obviously. They haven't decided to offer us anything. Well, they, they offered us peace twice. But other than that, they haven't really been doing anything. They've just been raiding the same village over and over, which is perfectly fine. And hopefully, their town that we attempted to siege in the previous episode will still be slightly weakened when we get back. Well, this is actually quite amazing. Upon finishing this, I have been granted a strange sword. I'm not entirely sure about that particular reward. I don't think I've gained that ever before. I only just gained the turquoise thing, which is perfectly fine. But this looks maybe good. Ah, well, we're going to find out. Let's go into our inventory and take a look at the strange sword. Where is it? 
Strange Sword, okay, so yeah, it's not actually that good. It is a two-handed slash one-handed, 32 cutting, but the speed is pretty good. The speed is pretty nice, but uh, yeah, I gotta say, it's it's kind of underwhelming, and I would have preferred maybe to get the amber for second place or something like that, but well, what can you do? All right, so we've reached Diggs Landing. Nothing really happened in the journey over here, thankfully. Obviously not getting attacked by the Aztec vassal that is still standing <laughs> at the coast of the Saranids territory. Kind of a bit weird. He has 89 troops, but he's not really doing anything with them. And we now have the opportunity to resupply ourselves. Now, do bear in mind that my morale was starting to suffer pretty heavily and I decided to put everyone in the garrison here because, well, I didn't want any more of our forces to leave. I had two units leave and I didn't really want more of them to go. So, yes, I'm perfectly happy with that. Now, we are recruiting a couple of Dagnabia Huskars, as you can see here. It's, it's going to take 17 days. So, that's, that's kind of sad. But it's okay because we have the opportunity to attack the Aztecs main town, or I think it is their main town anyway, 139. Oh. Okay, so he has 139. Wait, who's that? 103. Okay. So we're going to be a little bit cautious here. We're going to try and lure them away from each other. Because there are a lot of trees, and the trees are making things mighty difficult. This guy is wanting to run away, so... Uh, it seems I'm going to have to fight them outnumbered once more. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm going to be able to go in there. Okay, so there you go. We're getting 16,000 per week. And obviously I do have the additional, shall we say, property at Hiro Salima. So that's pretty nice. But as you can see here, uh, we are going to have another battle where we are outnumbered pretty heavily, which is kind of sad, I've got to say, because I'd very much like to actually have a one-on-one -on -one for once. Because usually it's just like, hmm, yes, okay, so I'm going to narrow this guy down and try and take him out. And then I find out that there's someone else very nearby. Obviously, I kind of expected this to happen, obviously, because, well, they're usually having quite a large radius in which they can be intercepted and help their friends, which is perfectly fine. But, you know, I'd very much appreciate that not to happen all the time, but, oh well, it doesn't really matter so much. Okay, so let's see what we can do with our bow here. Our proficiency is still relatively bad. Obviously, I've not done much fighting, if any, at all. And I'm hopefully going to be able to... Oh, look at that! Increase our proficiency a little bit. A nice little bit of damage to that archer at the back there. But I think that's probably going to be all I'm going to get, actually. Is it? Is it all I'm going to get? It looks like it, actually. I think I'm... No, no, I need to raise my aim a little bit, and then that will probably give me some hits. Maybe. Or maybe I'm overshooting? Am I overshooting? I don't even know. I can't even see where the arrow is going, really. That is just... Uh, that's just terrible. Well, our archers are doing okay, I suppose. We have the advantage. We have a huge advantage with this amazing hill here, so we should be absolutely fine. I'm going to pick up a bunch of arrows... If I can. There we go. Yeah, we're starting to kill them now. We're starting to kill them. So let's... Uh, c come on. Can you please just charge in? I would very much appreciate it. If you charge in, then I might give you some cupcakes. Or maybe maybe just some, some regular bread. Because that's all I have on me at the moment. But yes. Can we kill that guy? Yeah, we, c we might be able to. Oh, and that's the leader. That is the leader. Fantastic. Uh, I'm actually wanting them to charge in. We've killed a couple of them, so I'm actually kind of surprised that they haven't charged in yet, but... Hmm. I suppose they're just being a little bit stubborn. Ah, there they go. Okay, so there's the charge. That's fantastic. I, w I wish I could actually hit a few more people with my archery. I'd very much like that. Okay, so it seems like we've run out of arrows with our marksman here, which is kind of bad. That is kind of bad, so I think what I'm probably going to try and do is maybe retreat if I get an opportunity, because I don't really want to send in all of these guys and be outnumbered without having any range support. So, yeah. Maybe that's going to be the case. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do yet, but as you can see, their archers are very, very much useless right now. They don't have any arrows either, by the looks of it. Oh, no, they do have... Ah, well, that's kind of sad, isn't it? Okay, well, what can you do? What can you do? So, yep, come on, take him down. There we go. 
Oh, that guy was floating in the air for a second? Wow, that was amazing. Okay. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that guy, but okay. That's perfectly fine. Okay, now, a nice thrust. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so everything seems to actually be going quite nicely. We've only... Oh, we've lost seven, but we've eliminated 89. Wow. Yeah, 89 of them already, but these warrior priests, they're the main problem here. Well, temple guards as well, obviously, but the warrior priests really do have... Well, kind of... They, they give us problems, basically. They give us problems because they are able to kill things. Obviously, oh, it seems like temple guards are also able to kill things. Well, that's good to know, at least. Be reminded of that. Yeah, I think I might like to retreat soon. I think retreating would be a good idea. So, I'm going to try and do that. I'm just going to eliminate this wave. Okay, come on. Come on. Take him down. Take him down. There we go. Okay, so, we're going to retreat now. There we are. And we lost 3 morale, but gained 27. That's pretty amazing. And we eliminated 126 of the enemy. Now, of course, we have 45 against 121. That probably was going to end in our victory. But I'm being a little bit cautious here because I don't really... Oh, no. Uh, oh, no! Okay, no, never mind. I don't want to do that. Thank you very much. I misclicked. No. Okay, so I want to go onto my ship. Thank you very much. Okay, so you can just run away, please. Just run away from here. Yes, there we go. That's what I like. Okay. Very nice. Okay. So we could technically take those routed, routed enemies prisoner, but I don't think I'm going to do that right now. So how much do we have? 77? Okay, so we lost 10, obviously, as we saw. So I'm going to just get a couple more Huskars there just to shore up things a little bit. And we're going to try and track those guys down after we've rested for some time. Now this might be the very best thing that we've been looking for because this is... Oh yeah, this is great. I was able to narrow this guy down just from him being alone and that's absolutely fantastic because there's a bunch of vassals very very close by they actually do have their liege as far as i'm aware very very close as well he has 313 units yeah 313 i <laughs> would not want to be fighting that guy that's for sure so we're going to try our best just to take out their very small lords and maybe just weaken them up a little bit because you never know when we're going to be facing them in actual combat. Sooner rather than later, I suppose. But anyway, let's try and get our infantry over here. Ah, yes. Yeah, so, uh, please attack their artery division. No, I'd like to, <laughs> like to just have them hold position, if possible. Okay, so our archers are actually doing an amazing job now because they're a lot closer, obviously. And we do have arrows this time. Yes, probably should have decided to hold position last time because obviously them just shooting off into the shielded units was probably not a really good plan but well it was the best plan that I had at the time and obviously I didn't really want to just let them pelt us in exchange so yes I think that's fine okay come on eliminate them yeah, come, come, yeah nice thrust there we go okay so can I shoot that guy Yes, we eliminated a warrior priest. Fantastic. I don't want to let them escape, do we? No. Okay, so we are going to be rallying our troops. Did we just win, or... Oh. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. I actually thought to myself, oh, we're going to get another wave, but then I remembered, oh, yes, they only have 76. So, unfortunately, he was able to escape, but, well, that's just how it is, I guess. So, 16 looters... To rescue. Do they level up into anything? They level up into mountain bandits. I'm not entirely sure if they level up into anything else after that, but well, suffice it to say, that is a good victory. But now, if we take a look. Ooh, they're actually leaving. They seem to be leaving, perhaps. I'm gonna just take a look over here and just see whether the liege is still in this area, because he came over here, and that would have been very worrying. Oh no, apparently he's not. He is not here. That's fantastic. Okay, so that means that I have an opportunity to take the town. So we're going to take a look at the garrison there and see what it's like. Is it going to be weakened still? It is. 274. Fantastic. Okay, so next time on Nova Atus, we are going to be attempting to take Axel Copan from the Aztecs. 
and hopefully the liege will not turn up in time to defend it. So I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you the next time.